Hey, welcome, welcome back to Dining Help at C Square. In this example, we have a triangle that has the side lengths 16, 48, and 50, and we want to see if this triangle is a right triangle. For that reason, I'm going to use what is called the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, which says if the sum of the square of the lengths of two sides of a triangle is equal to the square of the length of the third side, then the triangle is a right triangle. So, what is very important here is to identify c in a squared plus b squared equals c squared, the Pythagorean theorem. And if you remember, uh, c is the hypotenuse, the longest side. So if we have these three numbers, 16, 48, and 50, obviously c will be 50 because it's the longest one. And the other one uh, we can call either a or b, it really doesn't matter. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take this number and plug it in this Pythagorean uh, formula, uh, theorem, if you want to call it. So I'm going to have 16 square plus 48 square. And I want to check if they are equal to 50 square. They might be, they might not. So that's the reason I put a question mark here. So now I'm going to do 16 square. And 16 square is... Uh, 256, 48 square, and that is 2,304, and 50 square, and again, I'm going to put a question mark here, I want to check this statement, I'm not so sure if it is, if they are equal or not, and 50 square is 2,500, so now I'm going to combine the two numbers on the left side, I have 256, plus 2,304, and that is 2,560. And again, we notice these two guys are not equal. Okay, and if they are not equal, then the triangle is not a right triangle. No, the triangle is not a right triangle. Why? Because it does not verify uh, the Pythagorean theorem. If it is a right triangle, it has to verify the Pythagorean theorem. You have to get left side and right side being equal. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.